December can be a funny one for recruitment sales. How do we balance keeping our pipeline ticking over all during the festive period whilst giving ourselves time to recharge after a hard year's graft? Some of us are already winding down and getting well into the Christmas spirit, but for others, December can be a stressful time. Scrambling around, trying to get the last of our invoices out all before year end. So I've pulled together a few do's and don'ts of recruitment sales that I try to live by all over the festive period. Tip number one, do use Christmas cheer to nurture your pipeline. Taking time to send Christmas cards to your clients is always a nice touch. When it comes to email, kind of avoid the generic spammy Merry Christmas emails. Try to think of something festive and valuable instead. A link to a Christmas blog, for example, with survey stats on market trends in their industry. And why not sign off with a nice, Christmas themed email signature. Christmas is a great time to give your prospects some insight all into your company culture. So they get a better feel for who you are as a recruitment agency to do business with. It can be as simple as sharing photos of the office Christmas tree or your Christmas jumper day. If you're going to share photos though, try and avoid the Christmas party photos or at least keep it client friendly. Tip number two, don't assume everyone is winding down. You might be in full Christmas swing, but presuming your prospects are too, could easily result in missed opportunities. Letting your warm leads go cold, all because you're assuming it's tails down, could mean losing out. For some, it's very much business as usual. Plus, lots of your prospects may already be gearing up for the January recruitment boom. So with less competition out there this time of year, December can be a great time to get out and see new prospects. Tip number three, don't try and force your client's hand. December can be a stressful month. Being pushy with people just because you have time to call them three times a day just won't go down well. If they don't have time to confirm that job until the new year, respect that. Trying to force movement when all they need is to be kept warm until January will do much more harm than good. Tip number four, don't invite clients to the company Christmas party. Including clients on the guest list can seem like a great idea at the time, but it can be a huge regret all once the party's in full swing. Do we really want our clients seeing us in full party mode, dancing on tables after a full day of drinking in the office? Plus, it's meant to be about celebrating the team's hard work and achievements, not a night where the focus is on your clients and all you do is end up talking shop rather than letting your hair down. Tip number five, do make sure you take some time off. Even the top biller needs a day off to rest, recharge and reflect. Plowing on through Christmas and New Year might feel like you're giving yourself a head start for your best year yet. But in reality, the best way to start a new year is feeling refreshed and revived. After a few days of downtime, your productivity levels are likely to shoot up and then you'll be ready to hit the ground running in the new year. If you have any do's or don'ts over the festive period, feel free to share them below in the comments. Thanks.